Hi guys. This is Lemantic again. Summer is just around the corner, so it's good time to change your windows if you was planning to do that. I changed my windows last summer, so uh, this was not difficult. And I will show you how I did it from A to Z. Everything. Very important how to measure windows. So in our case, we just have to measure opening, clear opening. So measuring from here, not from here, this is a trim and also backstop from here to here. It's, we have 40, 40 inches right here. Also from here to, to here. And here, 53 and three quarters. From our measurement, we have to deduct uh, half an inch. So on each side is gonna be space one quarter, minimum. I'll show you how I remove my old windows. It was not hard to remove all the window, sash by sash and then plastic uh, rack on the sides only takes time to remove backstopper. To remove this backstopper I tried like electric planer and other stuff uh, but best way to remove it it's a windshield knife, so it's the best way. Okay, our house is like 28 years old, so and uh, windows looks not bad. And actually, reason why I change it, I have total of changed 13 windows. The reason why I changed it, it was first one, my wife can't open it, okay, and summertime she tried a couple times, even she broke uh, her nails a couple times, so uh, it was first reason, and it was so difficult to open, and second reason, three of them was like uh, foggy inside, especially in winter time, so that's why I changed, decide and installation of my windows. When you're working with your new window, try not to touch the glass. Don't leave any dirty spots from your fingers. It looks like it's not important, but better keep glass spotless. Insert window carefully. Don't force it. Don't bend it. Open sash just a little bit to see if opening is even. 
and also check level vertical and horizontal. Everything looks perfecto. Now we have to weatherproof and secure our window. For insulation you can use doors and windows expansion forms from but like in good old days I used fiberglass. Also because it was in my storage shed. Don't pack fiberglass too hard. Pack it evenly, just uh, slightly all around the perimeter of the window. Also, it's not supposed to be loose. It has to be evenly distributed around the perimeter of the space around the window. I tried to slice my fiberglass outside of the house. I don't like this dust from the fiberglass and pack it. Actually, fiberglass packing is the most annoying part of this whole process. Hi, how are you doing? To secure window, we have like a three screws supposed to be done on each side take off plastic covers from each side and screw these screws don't screw it all the way you have to finish tighten it with a regular screwdriver because it's not supposed to be over tight and also not too loose. Sorry for the quality of the movie right now, but in one hand I have my screwdriver and in other hand I have my camera. What I want to show you that space between opening and uh, window not supposed to be changed. Window line supposed to be always straight. For waterproof, we have to cock perimeter of the window outside. To cover bottom part of the window, we have to measure this cover, cut it down and snap it. Inside I use this uh, plastic trim, also it's like a back stopper too, and I secure it with power grab. Two 
like I said in the beginning of this video, so uh, it's to change it, it's not so difficult. You can do it yourself. And I'm happy about my work. And uh, now my wife is also happy. She can open it with her one finger even. It's easy to open right now. You can do it. Bye, see you next time. If you like this video, please like it. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and repost it please. See you next time.